part of how I developed as a player and I had a lot of good coaches there who really supported me um, and yeah it, it just means that I was familiar with the coaches and it's always something that I dreamed of doing to progress into the first team. And do you kind of see yourself as a bit of a role model for like the girls that are coming through now? Um, I don't really know about that but hopefully they can see that it's possible you know if they want to and if they want to work hard they can you know go through the age groups and then maybe one day they can get into the first team. And what was kind of like a typical day like in the RPC? Um, so we never really had full days or anything but usually it was late night training sessions and I always remember that one of the sessions was 8 to 10 at night so it was really late. Um, but yeah, we just warmed up, training session, cooled down, but it was quite fun and everything. And yeah, it, was, it wasn't really very, very far away from the house as well, which was always a bonus. And how is it now? You know, you're still uh, at university. How is it playing football as well as studying? Um, yeah, obviously it's a bit challenging. Um, I've got a lot of uni work to do and I, I do miss quite a lot of lectures, but I can I just catch them up at home. And um, yeah, it's, I'm really enjoying my course, but I also really enjoy football. So it's quite good that I can do both.